So we have defined seven qualities of an ideal master care. Now, when we talk about an ideal master care, we recognize fully that nobody is going to be ideal. It's a journey. It's not a destination. Nobody can claim to be an ideal master care, not me or not any other person, even people who have spent the, uh, decades within the organization, are uh, actually undergoing this journey. So there are seven qualities of an ideal master care. The first one is actually the commitment to be your best. That we are not looking at people who want to be spoon-fed, people who are looking to guide us somewhere else, who are looking to be instructed. We want self-starters and we want people with high initiative who are committed to showing up and doing the best they can, being the best they can be. So it's all about individual uh, excellence. And we don't have a standard benchmark. So it's not a one-size-fits-all, it's not an assembly line where everyone who's a developer is expected to A, B, C and everybody who's a module leader is expected to do something else. We are looking at individualized career path. We recognize that every one of you has a unique talent. You have something that you can uh, become the best at and we would like to nurture, provide an environment which nurtures this talent of yours and helps it express itself fully in delivering value to all our stakeholders. The second uh, expectation out of a uh, master care is that they all are trying to develop their craft that everything that we do in solutions and software and high end transformation programs requires master craftsmen, people who can actually take pride in what they do. That the kind of solutions we do, whether it is to reduce congestion in London or improve the uh, healthcare delivery within the UK system or uh, help a retailer manage its supply chain better. Everything that we do actually requires the best of people to come together and put the best that they have in, in terms of being able to conceptualize an application, architect it, design it, test it, deliver it, actually ensure that it gets implemented and it gets it continuously evolves and gets maintained over a period of time. So it does require craftsmen and it requires different kinds of crafts to come together as a team to make something happen. So we are expecting every master here to be a crafts, a master craftsman. That you will start off learning the craft under people who have done it in the past but you would actually gain expertise and become a master craftsman on your own. The third is every day is an opportunity to make a difference that we want masticators to show up, to be there and to stand up and do something which is meaningful for their customers, for their team members, for other masticators and for mastic in the long run. So, seize every opportunity every day to see where you can make a difference. I think that's a critical thing. It's very easy to be a recipient and look at the situation around you and get a cowed down in some way. But can you step up and make a difference? So, we expect a masticator to be a difference maker. The fourth is that every master care actually has the energy, the enthusiasm and the resourcefulness not to just look for problems. Obviously there are problems in any situation, any organization, any software project. But how do I step up and become a, a solution a provider rather than just someone who's uh, talking about problems. So do I exhibit the resourcefulness to step up and solve problems? To Seek help if required, but ensure that every problem that is there is not left to fester, but it's actually solved. The fifth the expectation out of a master here is that you recognize that personal growth is not about designation, it's not about promotion, it's not about the role that you have or the salary that you get. All those are natural outcomes of actually creating a higher impact. That the entire idea of personal growth is can I expand my circle of influence, circle of impact? Can I actually do something which is more meaningful for my customers, for my team members, for MassTech, for any other community? So it's both from a quantity of impact that you create as well as the quality of impact that you create. Finally, growth in MassTech is uh, all about impact. That a person who's a higher grade or a more senior person is MassTech, is MassTech is somebody who has created the most impact and is expected to create even more. So growth is not what somebody tells you, it's actually what you are able to perceive for yourself in terms of the impact that you create. I think 
that is a very critical aspect that we don't have road designations which are cast in concrete. But the grade as a, a grade of resource within MASTIC represents the promise that you make to the organization that this is the kind of impact you would create. So the sixth attribute of a MASTIC here is high sense of ownership that we believe that everybody has as much power to do or make a difference as the CEO. So we do expect people to go beyond their particular role to actually take ownership over the entire organization as much as I as a CEO would and be able to point out if not actually make a difference wherever. So we do expect that every master here is courageous enough to point out if something is going wrong. It may not be in an area where he has the a sphere of influence to make a difference, but we should definitely ensure that as Mastec, we do the best we can in every product, whether it's for our customers, whether it's for our fellow Mastec here, or whether it's for our other stakeholders. So, so every Mastec here is expected to take complete ownership over Mastec as much as the CEO. So, when I say this, this comes with this level of power automatically because I'm expecting every Mastec here. With the, to have the power required to make a difference. So, with authority comes the necessary power. That you have the authority to operate like a CEO, you have the power to operate like a CEO. So, last but not the least uh, expectation or out of an ideal man stick here is that you operate from a higher self. Like, we can easily get, I mean, all of us have an opportunity to uh, operate at multiple levels of who we are. So we can operate at a lower self where all we are concerned about is our increments, our promotions, what is the kind of recognition I get, which is important. But can we actually grow beyond that to look at what is it that, uh, what is the difference that I can make, what is it that I contribute as an individual, how do I impact the community around me. So uh, my own expectation out of every master kid is not just that you make a difference in your job in terms of your profession, but as a family member, you're the best son or daughter you can be, the best father or mother you can be.